speaking of unusual, unusually warm for this time of year today, but we will take it, Michelle. I'm looking forward to getting outside again. Yeah, so yesterday we ended up with a record high of 72 degrees wow. at TF Green Airport. It's not going to be quite as warm as that today, but we're still going to be in the 60s, so take advantage of it. We do have a couple of light sprinkles and showers that are coming through right now. Behind that, the clouds will quickly clear out that we're seeing this morning. So this will be short-lived, but a heads up that you may need to briefly turn on your windshield wipers in the next hour. Newport Harbor, little glimmers of light here now that the sun is up with that extra cloudiness, and what a mild morning. This is more typical of, say, early June with 50 degree temperatures this morning in Providence. So that's our starting point. With the sun emerging, I think we'll have another very mild day ahead today. The warmth hangs on, but we've got some changes. Wind advisory has been issued for tonight. We just talked about that a few moments ago, and then a windy weekend on the way with the temperatures feeling more like March. We're going to start to feel, again, a little shift in the winds today. They'll turn right now to the northwest as a cold front is coming through. That's the reason for those spots. Body showers, those clouds and a sprinkle giving way to sunshine. High temperatures about 63 degrees, warm and breezy again this afternoon, gusting to 25. So here's what it's looking like. Not much change in the temperatures through the next two hours, staying in the upper 40s to lower 50s. By lunchtime, we're back to 60 degrees in Providence, about 62 Attleboro, near 60 in Pasco, and even today along the coastline with more of a west wind. Got a shot at hitting 60 degrees in Newport, New Bedford, and Westerly. Three o'clock this afternoon, up. 50s and lower 60s. So, get a mild day, just not as warm as yesterday. 7 o'clock this evening, still pretty comfortable if you're out this evening out on the deck or patio, but the cooler air is going to start to come in tonight. We'll see some rapidly dropping temperatures through the night as the winds pick up. So, those winds have us under a wind advisory. 8 o'clock this evening through 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Gusts out of the northwest will be between 45 and even 55 miles per hour at times. And you can see how those drop the temperatures down. So, by Midnight, we're back to 40. By 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, most spots are at or below the freezing mark. And that cold air is just to the north and west of us right now. So the first front coming through this morning, the second stronger front's going to push across our area tonight. That brings the strong winds and that drop in temperatures. But doesn't come with any precipitation. So this afternoon, cold front number one is offshore, sunny skies and mild air. Here comes the second shot of cold air tonight. So tomorrow morning, much cooler. It'll be blustery in the morning, but the winds relax some in the afternoon. And our high temperatures are, again, very typical of March, even mid-March, but it's a change from what we've been experiencing so far this week. So we've got the winds tomorrow breezy, especially morning hours, a second batch of strong wind gusts expected for Sunday. So going from the 60s today to the 40s this weekend, windy in the afternoon Sunday, upper 40s, brings an even colder air for Monday. It's going to feel like midwinter, 30s in the afternoon, teens in the morning on Monday. Keeping an eye on a little system that's going to brush by. It's actually part of that big storm system that's going to be affecting uh, Colorado over the weekend. Most of that fizzles out and pushes to the south of us by the time it reaches the east coast. We've got a second chance for some showers on Thursday.